Welcome to our YouTube series of HubDoc training. Perfect if you're starting to use HubDoc for your small business, coupled with zero. We've got a few short videos taking you through the basics of HubDoc. You can watch them in order at your own pace or dip in and out to brush up on your skills. Okay, so once you've got the brief setup of HubDoc sorted, we can start sending your invoices and receipts to it and file them in the bin, burn them, eat them, do whatever the hell you want with them. But one thing you don't need to do is keep them because HubDoc will keep a record forever and so will zero. So there are three ways to get your docs into HubDoc. You can snap them, download the app on your phone and take a picture of the invoice. It's literally as easy as that. There's nothing else to do. You take a picture, press the button, boom, it's done. Or you can drag and drop. So you open the HubDoc app and click the upload document button. You can literally drag and drop in there or click the, the old fashioned browse button and any invoices that you want, you can do a whole host at a time, uh, add them into there, and then you'll see them here in HubDoc, like so. Or the other way is that you can send them by email to your designated email, uh, to your designated HubDoc email address, which you will find by clicking the cog in the settings. And if you go to the organizational tab, there is the email address there. It is a funky long email address, but that's obviously because it's it's a unique and it's a HubDoc email address. Um, but literally, if you send an email to that with a PDF attachment attached, it will process it as an invoice. Also, here's another quick tip for you. If you tick this button here, create documents from both the attachments and the body of the email, it will do exactly that. It will take whatever's attached to the email and treat it like it's an invoice, but also the body of the email will also treat that as an invoice. Now this is especially good for Amazon invoices and the like, which aren't usually attachments, but they're in the body of the email itself. So there you have it. That's how you get your documents into HubDoc. Check out our next video in our HubDoc training series, where we look at pushing these documents into zero, because there's not much point in having them in the HubDoc if they don't bloody go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, do us a massive favour and hit the like button or subscribe to our channel to see future videos.